today's video i'll be showing you guys how to achieve checkmate um with only one rook um so this checkmate is tougher than the just the queen checkmate because um the opponent king can actually attack your rook but in the queen checkmate uh the king could not attack your queen like directly so this checkmate will take like a bit more time um but in my opinion it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it um so before we get started uh let me show you um the two main positions of checkmate you need to look out for so the first one is when the king is in the corner and your king is like that and your rook is giving check right so this is a posi position of checkmate uh because king cannot move um to b8 uh, nor to e7 nor to b7 because king guards um a7 and b7 right there and then the rook um is restricting the movement along the uh, eighth rank right and the other position is like anywhere like it can be like here and the black king could be on a4 and this rook could be over here right so again um black king cannot go to b5 b4 or b3 because of the king and then um the, the rook restricts the movement on the uh, a file right so what we have to take away from this is that um to deliver checkmate uh to the opponent king um the opponent king has to be either on the first rank the eighth rank the h file or the a file so the king has to be on the if your king if the opponent king's like on g7 um you can't achieve, achieve checkmate from here like even if you get into that position right your king can always go the king can always go back right so it has to be on the eighth rank first rank h file and a file right so you have to force the king onto one of these um four ranks or files right so that's the first thing you have to notice so let's go back to the starting position right so the first step in delivering checkmate is first first of all you have to use your rook and just um, block off certain ranks and files that's the first step so in this position uh this king is on the fifth rank right so by playing the move rook to h4 you essentially have taken away the fourth rank the third rank the second rank and the first rank right away from the black king so you've made the box smaller right the king is now trapped in this box and before you if your rook was on h1 then the king would have um the whole board to move around right um and if you're not in a position to like um do this on the first move itself let's say your rook was on f1 right you start in f1 you can just play rook to f4 now right because then you'll just take so uh if you're in a position like this uh the first thing you have to do is um play a waiting move, right or just get your rook um to like to the other side of the board so i noticed that i can play rook to h1 here right and next move i can come rook to h4 right because if even if you play as king to f5 now rook to h4 you've covered it right so that's the first step right uh or you can do something like um i don't know you can go rook to f2 um if you play as king to d5 i don't know then you go there so you have to that's the first step you have to follow somehow you have to get your rook um to block um uh, a file or a rank from the enemy king so even if it's something let's say your rook is uh, your king's here and your um king is on a7 or something right so in this case we're not blocking um like a rank we're blocking a file you can go rook to b7 keep in mind that um you can um the king doesn't have to be restricted to being only on um like the ranks it can also be on the files right now it's on the a file right it's also on the seventh rank, but um, it's cornered onto the A file, right? So it, we take priority over like um, whatever is like more, you can say restricted, like whichever file or rank the opponent king is like more restrict restricted in. Um, that's what you have to do. So let's say the king was on A four, right? 
so let's say hmm okay yeah here so in this position would you play rook to beat uh rook to d3 uh blocking off this third rank or would you play rook to b2 blocking off this entire um, b file i think you should play rook to b2 right because this king will be in this like target zone right the target uh file or rank in this case it's the a file so uh yeah so you have to take priority of that so let's keep our ping back here right let's go oops uh yeah so we played rook to h4 here right just taking away this rank um so let's say um uh, black plays king d5 right so he just plays a move right so and the second step we have to uh follow is to incorporate our king into the attack right so now we got this rook into its um like ideal square right so now we bring our king into the attack so just bring your king closer and closer to the enemy king right so we go king to d2 so bring it closer uh now we get king e5 right king d3 right and let's see if it's king d5 so in this position where the two kings are like directly opposite to each other um in this position we can do this it's called opposition right <clears throat> so that's what it's called and in, in this position you can notice that this king is covering these critical squares right um c4 d4 e4 so now the king uh, back king cannot escape to these squares right so if you play a rook to h5 here now <clears throat> um the black king has to go back he's forced to go back right so he can't go c4 can't go d4 can't go e4 so he goes back he has to go <coughs> so he goes king to e6 right so again we push our king um into the attack king d4 right let's say he goes king f6 right now we do um another key um step into in checkmating the black king this is another step right so we bring our rook to e5 and you might be wondering why i play rook to e5 well the answer is on um h5 the all the rook was doing was just covering this fifth um rank right that's all he's doing but now on e5 the rook not only covers this fifth rank it also covers this e file right so it's it's like a dual purpose move right um you can say like a double move or the du du dual purpose move right so now this king um first of all i cannot go in the fifth um rank and now it cannot even go in this e file so it's now in this super small box right really small box right so that and it's being protected by the king so that's basically the purpose of the rook to e5 move so if you find some uh, move like that you should always play it so after rook to e5 <coughs> uh let's say he goes king to f7 right now uh we can't play rook to e5 e6 immediately to um close off this rank but um we don't have to do that we can just bring our king back we can just bring king closer king to d5 right go so king to f6 again so if you're a common mistake in this position or like something that delays the checkmate is rook to e6 right that you should not play this at all because now the king is allowed to escape back right so we just want to keep pushing the king back and back right something like that right so we shouldn't um lose focus of that fact right so <clears throat> it's okay to play like a waiting move with the king like you don't have to like push for progress on each move but don't lose progress right by playing something like rook to e6 uh, and allowing the king to escape so here we can just bring our king in right king to d6 so bring it closer and closer into the action right so we play king d6, we get king f7, and again, rook to e6. Now we have control of the 6th rank now and the e-file. So box is getting smaller, right? So that's how you make progress, right? Rook to e6, then you get king to f8. Let's try king to f8. Now we have achieved our purpose with rook to e7, right? Now this king is stuck permanently on this 8th um, rank. Which is what like the target position wanted, right? The eighth rank, the first rank, um, uh, the A file and the H file, right? That's what uh the target position is like. The target position position for this checkmate 
requires the black king to be or the opponent king to be on one of those ranks or files so that's some good stuff right rook to e7 then we got king to g8 right king g8 we got king e6 just bring our king into the action king f8 king to f6 king to g8 now we get rook to f7 right now black is confined to these two squares g8 and um g8 and h8 right oops g8 and h8 so the uh, only move is king to h8 right so if you try to further advance your like control um over this or you try to over assert your dominance on this black king by playing rook to g7 it's a terrible blunder a really bad move it allows for a stalemate um which is basically a position where there's not check but the opponent cannot move in this case the opponent cannot move anywhere cannot capture this so and it's not even a check so it's called stalemate and the game ends in a draw but in um but you should have won this position right so that's bad so don't play rook, don't fall for this rook to g7 trap instead what you have to do is play king to g6 right now only move for black is king g8 and now um here's a sneaky little trick here um uh what you want to do is remember uh, we talked about this position um of checkmate where the king was on g um a8 and our king was here and this rook was somewhere on this eighth rank giving check right so we can simulate simulate that by playing something um like rook to f2 or rook to f1 right it's a waiting move right in this position um again the only move for black is rook to h8 i mean king to h8 sorry so we get king to h8 uh, yeah king to h8 now all we have to do is play rook to f oops rook to f8 and that is checkmate so it's a like sneaky little waiting move that you can play right um uh, my king was here right this was a position um now if you don't find that that's okay because um it's it's a kind of hard it's a advanced like move to find right so what you can do here is you can all you can just play king to f6 right simple simple stuff just if you know if you can't make any progress it's fine just move your king and just wait it's called a waiting move you just wait for the opponent to um play something then you like further your advantage right so again king to h8 only move and now here what you can do is um uh let's see you can play something like rook to um a7 right um so now once uh he goes king to g8 again you can play another waiting move rook to d7 uh now you can go again king to h8 um because after um king to f8 you just get rook to d8 main again that's one of the positions we talked about right you have opposition so that's one of the things we talked about so he cannot go rook to f8 so you have to go rook to h8 and now we can just play king to g6 and it's gonna seal um black's coffin he's gonna play rook to g8 and now we force uh rook to d8 checkmate right so if you those are like two two positions how to reach those two target positions like one they're directly like in front of each other and then this this one they're like this right night square away and then this so i showed how to get both of these positions right so that's basically it it's um once you get the hang of it uh you just start um actually just checkmating the enemy king with the rook really fast but until then um gotta keep practicing right so i guess that's it for this video i hope you learned how to checkmate with um one rook and how to do it effect effectively and fast and yeah um i guess that's it for this video and i'll, I'll see you guys next time